Open water with sharks in it, he gon' swim back. Ain't stopping down the cool line. For that money respect, I'm more than willing to shoot you line. Hit you have been, you time. will be Tell under the pool. Tell us that violence double up two times. Who can prove his dumb calls and fly shit? Stash box popping his face in the cockpit. Steady mobbing on politics in the gossip. It's the groove men round here, nigga, watch this. Burn. Trey, four, seven, eleven, the deuce and the nine. Hoover, hey, coach enthusiasts, the Hoover Knights, the people, and the collective. Man, we got one for you. You know, as I told you guys, man, in the past, this thing is on some more shit, man. We, you know, we want to be above the board with this get out. Today I have with me C Rab, 90 neighborhood Crips, okay? It, it got smoke coming after that, but this brother here, man, it's an impactful brother, man. You know, um, Accomplished in a lot of ways. You know, I'm just learning some stuff about this brother, man. This brother's tight. Um, I got him here, man, for the purpose of disseminating our history, man. And this in this respect, it's not just Hoover's history. This is man. Uh let people know who you are, man. Let's get into this. My name is originally <clears throat> Big Crab. Okay. Okay. It was originally Big Crab. That name was given to me by a person whose name I won't mention here. Okay. Uh uh. I became a nine oh Hoover mm -hmm. uh, back in '78. Uh, I think it was o October or November 1978. Originally, I was from H. Ray Hoover. Mm. Okay. Uh, when nine oh formed, uh, I was staying on 83rd okay. between Hoover, Vermont. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and prior to that, I was staying on 82nd between Hoover, Figueroa. Mm. And my first partner, was Big Calhoun. Yeah. Right? Rest That's in peace. Piece, right? Yeah. Uh, Calvin Harris. Yeah. Okay. I ran with him and his cousin. Uh, his cousin, I think, was from H. Ray Gangster at the time. And that was in 75. Mm. Right. We moved back to LA uh, from Pomona. Okay. We were in LA. We moved from Pomona back to LA. And that's where we moved to on uh, 82nd Hoover, to Hoover and Figueroa. But, <clears throat> uh, over the years, you know, uh, you know where I grew up at on eighty. We moved from eighty second to eighty third, across the street from uh, Mike and I. Rest in peace. Yeah. You know, uh, and I used to run with his little brother, Vincent. Uh, not Vincent, but uh, Eugene. Okay, Eugene ran with everybody around the same area, and that's where I, I got hooked up at with the Atrey Hoovers. <laughs> you know, uh, Big Scully, rest in peace. Right. The France Price. Right. Uh, Big Chip, or Big Chipper, as he was mm, back Chipper. then. Yeah. You know, I won't say his full name, mm. <laughs> but uh, he know who he is. Mm. You know, uh, Army Wayne. He wasn't Army Wayne then. Mm. Big Wayne. He stayed on 84th, across the street from uh, uh, Little Skelly uh, and uh, Big Hive mm -hmm. and uh, Little D. All them were brothers. Hibernator, huh? Yeah, I think, I think I told you the story. <laughs> yeah, you about, did. <laughs> I told the story yeah. about how you got that name. Yeah. You know, but we grew up over there. You know, and. Or, you know, we did the same yeah. things that kids back in the 70s did. That's you know, right. Ride skateboards and dirt right. bikes. That's and, right. And eventually 10 speeds, we fixed mm -hmm. it up. Show bikes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We, we didn't do the show bike. That was uh, other dudes like okay. Squirrel. And they used to come through, yep. you know, with their little show bikes mm -hmm. over there, you know, with all the lights and shit. The eight mm -hmm. tracks on the back. Mm -hmm. but, in the uh, box, uh, with speaker box exactly. and all that. Yeah, all that you know. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's basically where I grew up at. Okay. You, you know. It, it, that's that's interesting. I, I'm and I'm gonna say that because I'm pretty sure a lot of people are gonna say, "Damn, that's interesting." Right. How did them? Uh, you grew up over there, right. you know, most of your young life you know, as a yeah. child. But how did that transition take place from A. Trey Hoover to Nine O. Hoover? 
what happened? You, you want to share that with us? Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, my mother, I, I got kicked out of uh, John Adams. Okay, yeah. Because I pulled a knife on a, on a substitute teacher. You know, he kind of dogged me out in the class in front of little mm -hmm. girls and mm -hmm. picked me up and bounced me all the way. Yeah, man, now you. Yeah, and so when we get back to my seat, he wanted me to spit my gum out. You know, I'm back there trying to be cool with my little glasses on, my foot on the desk, you know, chewing on some gum with my locs on. And uh, he told me to spit it out. I'm like, who are you talking to? Mm -hmm. I'm talking to you. I'm like, okay, I'm not spitting out nothing. So he walks back there all casually. He grabs me by the back of my shirt, mm -hmm. picks me up, back of my pants. It bounces me all the way to the trash can, puts my face down there. He don't know I got a switchblade in my pocket. And he says, spit it out. I'm like, okay. I spit it out. And then he bounces me back to my seat, throws me in my seat. Substitute <laughs> teacher. He eventually got fired, not for that, but for something mm, else. Something else. Right. But, uh, you know, and then when he threw me back in my seat, I was my hand was already in my pocket. <clears> and so when he threw me in my seat, I pulled my hand out, clicked, and ch chased him to the front of the class. Long story short, I chased him around the class. He ran out the door. Screaming. <laughs> yeah, he ran out the door, got security. And I was walking across the campus. You know, John Adams split between mm -hmm. two Broadway. Uh, you got the uh, one, one side and the other yeah, side. Yeah. The other side. But I'm on the side, on the west side of, of John Adams, walking across the campus. <clears throat> Somebody spotted them coming up behind me and called me and said, watch out. And I looked back. They was chasing me. Nevertheless, I get suspended for that. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, so my mother said, you're going to stay with your brother. Mm -hmm. Right, he stayed on 88th and Baron Cross between 88th and 90th. Okay. Okay. So that back then everybody was pretty cordial. You yeah. Know? It wasn't a lot of Crips wasn't fighting Crips back right. then. Hoovers weren't fighting. What Hoover. year was this? This was in 77. Of course. Yeah. Okay, 77. Yeah. And uh so I was staying with my brother. You know, he was working at a, a tool company. You know, he mm -hmm. was going all night. And because he was going all night, I was out all night. Mm -hmm. Right. I was a youngster, mm -hmm. I was about 13 years old. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm out running the streets while he's at work because he was strict. Like, you stay your ass in the house. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. When he left, I'm gone. I'm out in the streets. But uh, uh, I, I started noticing, you know, cats like Big Miz now walking yeah. around the neighborhood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, but I was still from H.R. Hoover at the time. Okay. So I was still going on 83rd, hanging out with Stelly, Okay. You know what I'm saying? Though you lived on 88th and Van Cross. So I was still going yeah. there hanging gotcha. out with Right. Sometimes I go on 43rd because my mother stayed on 43rd. Mm. Right. So I would go over and hang out with my cousin. Mm. He was from Five Deuce Broadway. Okay. And eventually he became Five Deuce Who. Okay. Right. But uh, uh, that's something that there's this connection, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Family everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Family fighting family. You hear me? I mean, yes. Yeah. That's, 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 that's something, that's man. That's the of today, period. You know, it, it wasn't just back then. Yeah. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, uh, what happened was, you know, I was, there was an event that happened on uh, 88th in front of 88th liquor store in Vermont. Mm -hmm. You know, I was with this dude and I, I knew he was a blood, mm -hmm. but it didn't matter because we danced together. We pop locked yeah. and all that, right? Yeah. His name was Bootsy. I think he was from 84, Swan, mm -hmm. right? And he was messing with this little female up the street on 90th named Breezy, right? Mm -hmm. And he and I walked to the liquor store one night, and it was a gang of nine who was on the corner, <clears> right? <throat> now, he saw him, and he was like, man, I'm not going up there. I'm like, bro, what the fuck are you scared of? I'm like, I know most of them dudes. Yeah. Let's go. He said, but I said, nigga, you ain't got to tell him you're blood. Just let yeah, it go. Yeah, let's go. Right. So we walked through the crowd, and and uh, Big Space goes. Yeah. He was with his little brother, Toos, rest in peace, Big Whack, mm -hmm. and Big Lump. You know, they ran together like 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 three students <clears throat> and big lump rest in peace, too. But, uh, you know, Ghost spotted me right away and was trying to start a fight, <laughs> you know. So I went in the liquor store with Boosie, you know, and, you know, Ghost came in there and uh, walked by me and kicked my foot. You know, I would do right. in the day. Right. But yeah. Fight, kick mm -hmm. foot, yeah. You know, step on your shoe <laughs> or something. Right. So I looked down. I'm turning around. I look at him. They look back at me and went over there by the cooler section. I'm like, OK, I said, so we trying to have a problem. <laughs> tonight yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. like about 29 o's in yeah. front of, nine, nine who's in front of the store yeah right? i know most of them though so i'm not really tripping the older ones. but space goes starts with shit you yeah, know it's going to be he's issue. trying to but yeah. i know the older ones right yeah. the ones that basically were first way first generation i know so you know when i walk plus big civil was out there <clears> you know big four five and I, I grew up with him we were children <clears> on the west side of uh venice near curse okay yeah so uh so when I walk out the store with my little bag of chips and my honey bun, you know, uh, 
you know, Ghost standing outside. And I walk up to Big Disco, who I think you're gonna interview later. Yeah. I walk up to Big Disco because I knew who was to raise, but I hit his cage a couple of times, me and Chip, Chipper. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what we did, you know. Yeah. Hitting people's I, you know, I hit a few people's cages over there in that area. But uh I walked up to him and to Lil Moore. Uh, I think phone was out there that night and and Silver. Mm -hmm. And I said, What's up with your homeboy? They're like, who? I said, What's his name? He said, Oh, you talking about Space Ghost? I'm like, Yeah, yeah. you kicked my foot in the store, man. Like, he's trying to start something. He's like, Oh, man, you good. You, we going to talk to him. And it, I think Silver was like, Man, this my, is this my people, man. What the fuck is you doing, Ghost? He's like, Man, I ain't doing nothing. He said, Leave him alone. It's my people. Yeah. Right? I said, Man, you good. Y'all right, gone. So we walked across the street, boom. You know, it was good. Uh, so, that's how I got put on. So you got jumped in. Actually. I got jumped in, bro. <laughs> we, yeah, we I, I got jumped in. Yeah, I got jumped in. Oh, that wow. Day. Yeah. That was your initiation? That was my initiation. Man. Uh, so, and did your name come about then? No, no. I was still using the same name I had from H.R. Hoover. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So your name changed. How long did it uh, take? Probably about a week, week and a half. Okay. Yeah. And you you all in now, week and a half later? Yeah. Yeah. That's where you're going. Yeah. I mean, I was reluctant because I told him, like, no, I ain't I ain't gonna be from nine. Oh, yeah. yes, you are. Yeah. Nigga, we just jumped you in. Yeah, you just yeah. so just they, you got they, that buddy buddy, like, come on, man. You know, just go up to Bread Heart with us and hang out and see how we getting down. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, I can do that. Now, again, at this time, wasn't no beef. No, no. You you know, wasn't no beef with Hoover. That wasn't no. that you know, Hoover's wasn't tripping Look, with we, each we other. We hung out with nine deuces, nine right. holes. Right. Uh, to some degree, eight trays and right. some seven folks. Okay. You know, okay. the the problem started with the one oh sevens. Yeah, and, know, and we'll get to that. Right. And we'll get to that. You know, um, as, as far as your initiation, though, <laughs> damn, <laughs> damn. Right. Yeah, I, I can't recall if it. <laughs> That's a cold <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> we need to get the fair, get get a man a fair one, but that's okay. Um, so you got jumped in, man. That happened. So you starting to hang on um with nine O's on. I now. was already on 88, yeah. remember. You get you was on Bancroft, right? right? So what 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 the homies from the trace saying? Well they just y'all still kicking say, it. Well, they didn't say anything at that time because okay. you know I still even though I it was Hoover. Right. Nano Hoover, right. Hoover, whatever. Yeah, wasn't no wasn't no, no issues. There wasn't right. no issue. Right. Uh it 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 started becoming an issue when uh, it's it's a long story, but I can make it brief. Okay. You know, uh, a certain individual, I won't mention his name. Everybody okay. in this room knows who I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I used to be with him a lot. Mm -hmm. He came off Ms. Nam's side of 90, which mm -hmm. is Crossburn Mott. And <clears throat> in fact, he was the one who pressed the issue about giving me a name. Huh. You know, and indeed, he was the one that gave me that name. It was Crab. Mm -hmm. OG Crab. We're going to call him OG Crab. I'm like, oh, that, that's, that's, you know, Bloods wasn't calling Crips Crab then, mm -hmm. but no. I didn't like the name, but yeah. because he was older, homie, I said, and it, you know, yeah, I just, that's said, what you roll with. Yeah, it. that's what you roll right. with. <laughs> I regret it later. Yeah. Obviously, that's why it's C Rab. Right, right now. Mm -hmm. Right. But uh, so uh, he was, he was, uh, you know, he was a frontline dude. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm not taking nothing from him. Right. Right. I watched this get out. Yeah, and he never ran from nothing, bro. Mm -hmm. He was always the one on the front line doing mm -hmm. what he did, right? But uh, he was a bully too. Yeah, he did a, a lot of a lot of who was was. Yeah, he was you a know, bully. Space yeah. Go was a bully. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> still is a bully. Yeah. Still, <laughs> the story you told me stop is being a bully. bully. He I don't know. Me, he called me almost every week, uh, oh, yeah. telling me about his his uh, charades in there. Yeah, is he still? He's still in, huh? Yes, sir. Man, yeah, he's still in there. Man, yeah. But this particular person uh, was a bully, mm -hmm. and he had an issue. I think is Big Sidekick still alive? Sidekick, no, no, Sidekick, rest in peace. Ah, yeah. Okay, from Salo, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. But he had an issue. I don't know what the issue was, mm -hmm. but every time he saw Sidekick, he would bully him, mm -hmm. right? And I'd be with him, mm -hmm. and I just, you know, I'm a mm -hmm. couple years younger, and I'm just, you know, tripping like, why is he tripping on this dude? Yeah. Sidekick was trying to fat, you know, chubby, yeah. whatever. Always been a heavy dude. Exactly. And so Ray Bone, that's his name. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna throw it out there. You know, Ray Bone was like bullying the boy. Mm -hmm. And uh one day at Bread Heart, he decided that he would go further in his bullying of this cat, right? <clears throat> did a couple things that I think was not cool, but he did it, you know, and chased him out the school out the back gate over there by what we would call the turnaround, which mm -hmm. is Baron Cross. Right. I know, yeah. Right, chased him out the school and 
after, you know, when kids see somebody trying to fight, everybody in the school Go. usually following. Right. So it looked like 100,000 nine O's chasing this dude mm -hmm. out of school, but it was just the kids in the school mm -hmm. and some nine O's. Uh, so we, we basically ran all the way to Century in Vermont. Okay. And when we got to Century in Vermont, Sidekick turned around and said, motherfucker, I'll be back. Mm -hmm. Right. And I'm like, I think we better believe that, mm -hmm. right? Seriously. Mm -hmm. So uh, we walked back to the school. We back in the school, and and you know, uh, Miz was there. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, the homies was there, you know, because the recruitment at that time for not because we were fresh on the scene, right. barely two years in. Yeah, uh, barely two years, maybe a year and something. Because uh, I think now I know started in 77. Mm -hmm. Y'all numbers grew kind of quick, man. Yeah, quick, bro. Yeah. And so that's because everybody wanted to be part of the new kids on the block. The new game. The new right. get out. So, yeah. uh, it, it was a lot of homies at that school that, that day. A lot. And so what happened was uh, we were in the middle of the school. Some dudes was over on 92nd. Some was by the gym. And what I noticed was uh, about three or four cars pulled up real fast on mm -hmm. the turnaround. And they got to jumping out. Okay, so here, this is when it's going to get to That's when, yeah. Nobody ran yeah. until a certain person jumped out of one of the cars and started shooting what sounded like a 22. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, there wasn't no gunplay between right. you know, right. none of that, bro. But when he did that, everybody scattered. We, we kids, bro. You know, mm -hmm. junior high, barely mm -hmm. high school. Yeah, gunplay wasn't something. No, it wasn't. No, and we when was he involved, jumped yeah. out shooting, everybody ran. I ran. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to get shot. But mm -hmm. I ran in 92nd, hit the fence, and I was running down the alley. And uh, the alley between Orchard and Hoover. Mm -hmm. And when I get to 91st, I hear somebody call my name. That person, I think you're going to be, he's going to be interviewed later on this big disco. Mm -hmm. uh, I looked to the left and he was walking <laughs> with this silly walk that he had. You know, he had a bouncy walk. Mm -hmm. you know? And he was walking down Orchard past 91st. He called my name, crap. And I looked and I'm like, hey, hey. And he's like, what's up? And I ran over to him. And uh, he's like, what's going on? I said, man, we're up at the school fighting. I said, the 107s just jumped out. They were shooting. He said, for real? Uh, that's a long story. I'm not going to yeah. go into that. But we ran back up to the school after we went and got a couple of sticks because, you know, he heard it was gunplay. And uh, what happened ultimately was he was the one that ran up on the person with the gun over about a turnaround and got shot. <clears throat> he got shot once in the stomach. Right. Uh, Miz was there that day. Like I said, uh, he got shot once in the stomach somewhere around this area because there was a little spot of blood right there. When I ran over there and saw it, he was laying there on the ground on his back with his shirt off and uh uh that's what really initiated that was, gunplay bro that precipitated right everything that, that started right that, that that's mm -hmm. we there was no gunplay prior to that okay um and we're speaking about this and, and like normally i kind of i keep the bullshit out of the out right. of the get down but i think for this reason i want to ask you some specific and to best your ability you know you can um re respond you know what i mean right. let me know where you stand on this did you know ani uh i met him probably once yeah and then the second time i met him was it wasn't a it was the night he got he got he, he yeah. ended up getting murdered you know you, yeah you 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 are you happen to walk up on that situation right yeah i was there i mean you know uh that was the same night that uh big disco his original name is Big Dirty Bird. Mm -hmm. Okay, Disco, that was the name the big phone gave him later. Start calling him Disco mm -hmm. Danny, but that stuck, I guess, later after I went to prison. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, well, he, he was brought home from the hospital from being shot, remember, up at Red Heart right. that night. And four 107s drove up in a, uh, in, a, in a certain vehicle and got out. And there was a, a uh, argument between one of them. Mm -hmm. Ani wasn't saying anything. He was mm -hmm. quiet. He was just, yeah. you know, observing. But the person that was doing all the talking was the one who was always trying to, uh, you know, traumatize us, mm -hmm. you know, with his presence, mm -hmm. traumatize us with mm -hmm. certain actions and whatnot. But uh, uh, let, him, let me cut to the chase. Let me yeah. ask you this question. That had nothing to do with 9 0. What you mean? Ani getting shot. 9 0s did not shoot Ani. That's what I'm asking you. Uh, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say that, but uh, put it like I said, he was killed on 90th, mm -hmm. 91st and 90th, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and I think that was the issue more than anything, right? You know, well, for the Hoovers, yeah, yeah. You know, for the Hoovers, yeah. it was exactly. you know because it was Mumu's little brother, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. 
and everybody knew that Moo was the mm -hmm. guy that uh, essentially started 107, mm -hmm. right? And uh, and let, let's keep in mind that y'all were Hoovers too at that time. Yeah, we were. We didn't no. denounce being Hoovers. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Even though one of ours had been shot, mm -hmm. we were still claiming Hoover. Mm -hmm. We claimed Hoover. For a long time. Yeah, we claimed Hoover all the way up until uh, there was one incident I was telling somebody earlier today. Uh, we went up to Holly Park in early 81. Yeah. And tried to link up because I guess the 107s and 11 deuces was beefing with the 111s mm -hmm. for whatever reason. I don't know what mm -hmm. the origin of that conflict was, but uh, the 111s were beefing with the 11 deuces, 107s because he was claiming uh, 711, mm -hmm. and they they teamed up against the 111s. So we saw a chance to ally with the 111s because of that beef right. with the 107s. Right. Right. And uh, we went up to their park one night. <clears throat> Holly Park, right? They went up to yeah. Holly Park. Uh, phone was leading the pack, rest mm -hmm. in peace, on the big phone. And uh, we got there. <laughs> uh, we got out the cars. We had three mm -hmm. cars and about 16 of us in, in, in those three cars. And it was at night. And when we got out the cars, they were curious, like, who the fuck is y'all? Right. And we like, we from 9 -0. They want to know because it was two 9 at that time. 9 Hoover, 9 -0 Gangster. Yeah, and a lot of people don't know this, that there were two. Yeah. Which was first? Uh, Nano Gangster. Okay. A lot right. of people didn't know that. Yeah, Nano Gangster was first. The Southwestern, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, right now, Jesse was parked back then. Sportsman, mm -hmm. Sportsman Park. Right. Yeah. Uh, but they wanted to know who we were. We told them we from 9 0. And they wanted to know what 9 0. Because mm -hmm. 9 0 Gangster, they was cool with. Yeah. Right. Only because we were Hoovers, it's like, that, nah, that was the issue. Cool you yeah. Know? You know what I mean? So one of the homies said, 9 0 Hoover. <laughs> When he did that, they didn't want to hear nothing else. They just took off, <clears throat> and we started fighting. We was fighting all over that parking lot, right? Uh, at the end of the day, you know, we jumped back in our cars, went back to our hood, uh, and had a little impromptu meeting. Yeah. Phone was obviously leading the meeting, and he told the guy that said, I'm not going to say his name, he told the guy, what the fuck was you thinking? Mm -hmm. He said, what you mean? I mean, we hoovers. He said, no, we're not. He said, we are not Hoovers anymore because we're fighting all of them. Mm. So how can we be Hoovers and we're fighting all the Hoovers, mm. right? He said, but I didn't know. He said, okay, you didn't know. But from this day forward, everybody know that we ain't Hoovers no more. Yeah. Right? He was calling the shot. At, at that time, were nine or who was fighting all Hoover sets or just basically? Well, I'm going to tell you like this. Because I grew up with A-Trey Hoover and I was A-Trey mm -hmm. Hoover originally, I was the one making it possible for the A-Trays to get passes. Right. Seriously, mm -hmm. when I run into Big Calhoun or I run into Big Scully, mm -hmm. rest in peace to both of them. Uh, when I run into uh, uh, I run into cats like that and they come through my neighborhood mm -hmm. because we were, you know, where we were at yeah. not where we are today. We were over there right. off Hoover. They come through sometimes boldly, sometimes ignorantly, and get caught slipping. Mm -hmm. You know, and I would have to say, no, leave him alone. Let him, let yeah. him go, bro. You know, let him go. Right, getting that pass. Hot. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And my whole point was, I knew these dudes. I, I know their mothers, their yeah. sisters, their nieces. They, I know everybody in their families. Yeah. So I'm pushing the line. Don't do anything to them. Let them mm -hmm. go. Right. So, uh, but not just in that respect, because they were closer, with the exception of nine deuces. But the nine deuces didn't occupy 92nd at the time. Right. Point. <clears throat> we occupied 92nd. At that time, they were. Coding. Yeah, they want coding. Yeah. So we occupied 92nd, and we considered that as part of our hood, mm -hmm. you know, uh, for obvious reasons, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, but even originally, you know, we we ran with the nine dudes, yeah. you know, until we yeah. they started taking sides. Y'all actually started right there. Right. Right. Exactly yeah. on, on 92nd. But uh, they took sides with the 107s, mm -hmm. and and we couldn't see ourselves as coexisting on the same street. Mm -hmm. So the beef got deep right there and they couldn't come over there and know? that's how that right yeah because that I know some things that happened i recall a couple of incidents with the nine deuces and some of my homies yeah. they robbed them yeah. period. you know uh mm. <laughs> dirty red mm. crazy crip uh smiley they robbed some of my homeboys mm. and they came to me on baron cross and like hey you gotta you gotta you know you gotta thank mm. i'm like why was that Man, the motherfuckers just robbed us. I'm like, who? And they ran the names off. I'm like, wow. I mm -hmm. said, no, nah, you know, police just got my shit. So, you mm -hmm. know, 
but by then gunplay had already been initiated. it already started right. it already behind the bread art incident yeah not just bread heart but honey okay so we were still in some ways coexisted right but the beef was really largely with 107 mm -hmm. and because levin deuce was so close levin deuce so nine deuces was doing bullshit to us but they knew because of our proximity to one another they would do it less. And, and, and here's the thing about nine deuce and nine oh. A lot of y'all were related, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's strange, yeah. yeah that's <laughs> beyond crazy. Yeah. A lot of y'all were like brothers and cousins and shit. Yeah. You know? Nobody stopped thinking about that. Well, I mean, who's who's thinking in that environment? Yeah. You dig? Who's who's really thinking? I don't, it's, it's, I don't. It's, it's, Bub, it's largely a lot of emotions going on. That's true. That's not a lot of thought process being put into what we're out there doing in the streets mm. in terms of gangbanging. Mm. You know, it's how you feel rather than what you think. Than what is, yeah. Right. You know, so if you really put a lot of thought into it, if you were intelligent, you wouldn't be doing a lot of shit you're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, but we do it based on how we feel. Mm. You know, a lot of dudes, if you notice, they say, nigga, that's how I feel. Yeah. You know, they speak the feeling. That's how you feel. Yeah, they speak the feeling. Right. True that. Exactly. Yeah. And that's how a lot of it starts. So. Mm. so this transition, and I'm speaking about or asking about 90's transition from, from 90 Hoover to 90 neighborhood. Right. All right. And what was the discussion like amongst you guys? You know what I mean? Well, to be honest with you, if I don't mean to cut you off, I wasn't there. I was in prison already. You were locked up at the right. time. But we did make an effort to link up with the 90 gangsters one time. Mm -hmm. And I think Miz was responsible for the first and ultimately the second that led to our linking up with the 90 gangsters. Okay. Because we went over there and he led the pack. Uh, we walked, bikes walked, it was about mm -hmm. 20 of us. You know, we went over there to talk to these dudes and it was like a ghost town over there. We couldn't find a single couldn't find nobody. Gang. Nobody. So we went back to the hood. And I guess after I went to prison, uh, he decided that he wanted to make another shot at it, and he was successful the next time. You know? mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I guess on, on our side, it was West Coast 90s. Yeah. And on the other side, it was uh, West Side rolling 90s, neighborhood mm -hmm. rolling 90s. Eventually, he could speak more to that because, like I said, I was already in prison. He was already gone. Right. Hmm. I, yeah, I, I thought about that myself, and I want to ask you, I'm, I'm going to ask him as well, that, that, whether or not there was a thought process behind the, the, the shift, you know what I mean? The transition, you know, how did mm -hmm. that from going from 90 Hoover to 90 from what to West Coast or 90 neighborhood? I mean, you know, I, I see where you're going. I see you, you know what you're I mean? Yeah. What was that thought process like? Like, damn, you well, know? because of the hostility and all the violence in between, mm -hmm. I don't think that for you don't think of, it affected, no, for the first generation 90s, I don't think that it was a, a, a significant mind shift it was like fuck it we already away it from what it, anyway, it is you know yeah. and whoever was at that meeting that night i don't remember all of the people but i remember most of them when phone we went over and had that issue with the uh, uh, 111s at holly Park. right uh at that point my mind was okay i'm not hoover no more mm. i mean right then and there yeah i was i wasn't hoover and when he said we ain't hoover because it wasn't just that it was we had just had a fight with mm -hmm. because they could have been our allies there have been an accumulation of right. things that right. helped you make this decision, right. I'm sure. Right. So. Yeah, again, that's just it's interesting to hear this, you know. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people are interested to know from you guys' perspective what transpired or what that transition was like, you know. And I'm pretty sure that you answered a lot of questions. Um, being that that occurred the way it did, you know what I mean, that, that, that shift or whatever, that transition, of you guys' objective now was to, hey, man, we're here. Right. You know, you guys' objective, let it be known that we're not going nowhere. That's, you know, and that's, this is how we pushing. Y'all well, did that the, for That's, you know, as well as I do, that's the history of Crip. That's the history. Of Crip, you know? period. Yeah. You know, uh, I, I've never known a Crip set ever to be pushed out of existence by any so-called enemy or any kind of rival. Mm -hmm. uh, police, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, yeah. they put a den in nine dudes over history one time. Oh, yeah. Crawford, remember them? Yeah. Crawford. Yeah. yeah. From 77. You mm -hmm. know, they 77 was stretchers with this. Yeah, they yeah. was, bro. And they, Team 29, as a matter of fact. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Team right. 29. You know, they, they used to go through there and wipe them dudes out. Mm -hmm. And it was, you know, a lot of them was locked up. Mm -hmm. And it was, I think that's what also made it largely possible for us to occupy 92nd. Mm -hmm. Because when Team 29 started 
raiding them and mm -hmm. putting them in jail. There, there was no soldiers out there. The whole I, I think they used to call them sweeps, and, and yeah. they, they were real effective. Yeah, they were. Because, you know, here today, gone tomorrow, yeah. based upon a sweep, and they throw something at you and it's stuck. You know, and you, get, yeah, mm -hmm. you didn't see them for a long time. Yeah. Um, you know, speaking of that, once these sweeps start taking place, start occurring, in your opinion, did she get worse? Uh, relative to what? To the, to the violence, to the uh, crip on crip issues. You know what I mean? I think that my opinion is that once dudes started leaving from all, because it wasn't just who, everybody right, right. was getting snatched up. Boom, boom, boom. And as a result, I think this this rift, it, it widened. It widened because leadership, you know, the, the, that, that structure for the most part was gone. Right. Did you guys see that like that? Did you were you able to are you able to speak to that? Did you recognize that a phenomenon? I mean, I was young, but I saw a lot because I paid attention. Okay. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And what I saw was, you know, I mean the sweeps were they were different than what they're doing now. Yeah, a lot different. Because what they would do was they'd come through and they would for me, I would get picked up every week by when crash popped up and like I think early 79, the first time we encountered Crash, we was in front of Big Disco's house. Mm. It was about five of us out there early in the morning. Just like, swooped up on you Yeah, they just pulled up, you know, regular police car, you know, mm. and uh, jumped out, you know, with a Polaroid camera. And I uh, was mm. one of them. They're like, uh, who are you guys? Not a who? It's like, yeah, what's up? They're like, we need to take y'all pictures. I'm like, why? You know, they said, because we're, and he showed us uh, uh, something on his lapel, said C-R-A-S-H. Mm. And I said, you see this? I said, okay, what is that? And like that that stands for something. I'm like, uh, what does it stand for? Community resources against street hoodlums. Mm -hmm. So we're the new gang unit. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. like, damn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, okay, so take our picture for what? Mm -hmm. and, because we need to catalog you guys right. and know who you are. You know? That's when that and first like, began, we yeah. didn't have a choice. The, I mean, we didn't know what our rights were. We had a yeah. choice, but we didn't. Know what I, I don't think it would have mattered at that point exactly. either, whether I mean, you knew or not. No, they yeah, didn't care, you know. it's like they're going to force their yeah, deal on us. Yeah. And, and Crash is an offshoot, a spinoff of Team, Team 29. 29. Exactly. You know, so Crash today, that's where that come from. I mean, yeah. that was a funding issue, I think. You know, yeah. so I think that yeah. they just shifted funding to something uh -huh. they thought to something was else. more viable mm -hmm. for their uh, gang task force mm -hmm. going forward. And I think. Trade folks, except the left and the deuce and the nine. You have been, you will be under the deal. We ain't gang banging. This is about education. We trying to educate our youth right now, nigga. Hey. Said day is the best day to skip walking across the floor in the best way. From train to the one way. It's a stump day. LA to the NY. Let the funk You know, back in them days, it was Seven love, loyalty, and respect. And honesty, that's my nigga Gumby right Nowadays, there. From the you know, deuce, bitch. That's my nigga Rico. Turn up the deuce, bitch. That's my nigga Rico. Turn up the deuce, bitch. That's my nigga on that Uber shit. HIP, Tommy Moon, one of the hardest. Poets I ever heard connected with this star shit. Hey, baby Jap and Jap 5. Quick to set it off on the mic in the shack live. Want to shit get real and feel? Because the wheels frame up the boot. Then they run into a witness stack, yelling on their own home boys. Yeah. 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 I'm a New York nigga in the Pacific Sun. I say West Side Hoover if you ask where I'm from. Five is California run, still infusing my lungs. All about my bread, I ain't leaving the club. I might get a little end game. I'm leaving the club. Keep one in the head or I don't need a gun. I'm with Hawk on Hoover Street with a long ass drum. Hop a damn figure bar with a whole selling cut. Moving like this, come second to none. Moving like Scotty Young, moving like Booker Bone. I'm back to the bone.